What's up, world? The next day, as y'all can see, we are at the receiver. And look at that beautiful thing over there, bro. Just pulled up. KW5, uh, K, KW K100, excuse me. That's beautiful. Woo. We might be over there with them getting unloaded, but I don't know. I don't know. We we'll pray you uh, having a blessed morning. Uh, had a little bit of a hiccup last night. I noticed that my brake lights were, were still on, although the lights were off. So that just was telling me that maybe I didn't have good battery connection. Like maybe my terminals needed to be uh, tightened down a little bit more. And so on these trucks, the 579, I don't know if y'all know, but they have a safety thing with them. If like the battery terminals are slightly loose, it would cause the truck not to start. It's a safety fish, a uh, safety feature. So, gotta kind of keep these battery terminals not like beyond tight, but just tight, snug. So I went and checked on that, and to find out that one of the battery terminals uh, it actually broke. <laughs> it snapped on one of the batteries so that means you gotta replace the battery but other than that truck rolled good all the way here um no issues with tires nothing like that just gotta chase down battery this morning and we'll make some some calls and whatnot to get that expedited but checking in over here they said that this load ain't supposed to be here until tomorrow so I don't know what happened, whether it's the receiver messing up or the broker messing up, but we got to get that rectified so that we can uh, get unloaded today, man. Uh, prayfully, we can uh, get unloaded and uh, they accept us today, but it remains to be seen. So I'm still on the, the property to, you know, wait to hear back what they say. So until then... I'll get back with y'all, but in the meantime, I'm probably going to go outside and see what I can do with this battery terminal. Let me show y'all what I'm talking about. It's going to be a little loud. I don't know if y'all saw that, but it was moving. It ain't supposed to move. <laughs> that was a piece of history rolling, y'all. Well, y'all, we still sitting here. Uh, as y'all can see. We was told we had to wait. Uh, and see if they would accept us today, which I touched on that a little bit ago but it's already been going on an hour and a half so what we're gonna do now is just make our way over to the peterbilt dealer shop i found a battery over there for uh 90 uh, they had a sale on batteries for 69 but they're out of those um so we go get that 90 dollar battery i called the loves travel center last night which is a, a truck stop, but they have a tire and kind of like a small, minor repair type shop. But they wanted 140 and on up for a battery, which is like, nah, I knew I could find it cheaper uh, somewhere else. So uh, we're going to go get that battery, swap it out, and then come back and wait. <laughs> We still hadn't heard anything, so we might as well go do something productive. Hey, 
see, that's the parts truck right there. We're on our way, Mr. Man, right behind you. y'all like I said we was right behind him <laughs> go get up in there and get this battery so we here at Peterbilt y'all uh, but this dude right here decided to just come in and back up and block me from backing in next to this uh in and out burger truck which is quite nice you know what i'm saying got a little chicken lights on it hey you know got twins right there you know that's another one right there side by side but yeah so i'm trying to back in this spot so i can go ahead and start pulling this battery out he got one pallet to pull off so prayfully that you know don't take all day but uh yeah the shenanigans are still happening even at peterbilt yay he got the pallet off so finally this guy can get out of our way <laughs> uh, i'm not being impatient and i'm just having some fun y'all that's what's up. Thank you, Mr. Forklift Driver Man. All right, y'all. So we got our tools right here. Uh, 14 millimeter, and this is a half inch. And then we got our gloves. So let's get this bad boy out right here. Get it swapped out. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we got it out, as you can see. This is the terminal that's supposed to go here. The positive side, that's the negative side. So yeah, straight broke off. So we gotta get another battery. That's what it looked like all taken apart. You know, these just, these just hook into each battery. And um, that long red one, as well as this one right here coming in that's uh, coming from the starter uh, to the batteries. But, man, have y'all some tools so you can get this stuff done yourself, man. Just, you know, these two, I have two of these, the other one's right here, but they just hold this plate down right here to, you know, keep the batteries from moving around. And then you just undo these, you know what I'm saying? And uh, this is it. Your little nuts for the top of the battery, which go here, just so you know. You just go right on top. So make sure y'all have what y'all need, man, so you don't have to pay unnecessary uh, repair bills or wait for somebody to do something that you can do yourself. All right, let's go get this new battery and swap this bad boy out. Woo, y'all. The boy had to take a break. We already went inside, got the new battery. I gotta get my back together. Shoot, that batteries is heavy. <laughs> I already knew that, but dang. Your boy got sweat in his eye like a bug. Shoot, look at the glisten on my head, man, shoot. We out here working, getting sweaty for the calls, you know what I'm saying? Oh God, well, it is a beautiful day today. Man, look at that sky, man. Man, that is beautiful. Definitely a beautiful day. It's been raining like crazy down here in Houston or in Texas, period as well as other parts of the world. Whew. That's the new one, y'all. Let's get this bad boy in there. <sighs> Real 
real quick before we get this battery in there, man. Had to take me a breath right quick still. <laughs> Keep all your tools and everything you took off. Put that inside your vehicle. People do steal. You know what I mean? We do live in that type of world, y'all. So protect yourself and protect your investment. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, I can't lock that down there. The battery box area. Even though it does have a keyhole for that mug. But I can't lock it. But for somebody to try to steal them batteries, they got to take off a lot of stuff. That's just some of it right there. And then... You gotta take apart all the stuff on top of the battery just to get the battery. And then you gotta wrestle the battery, the battery out. So shoot, it ain't worth that. But protect your investment. Put that stuff inside, man. Lock it up, then go handle your business. Real quick, y'all. I noticed something. Y'all see anything wrong with this battery? I do. They didn't mark when this battery was bought. So to help yourself so you you know your warranty is good on this battery, if they don't do it, you got to do it yourself. Yeah, you have the receipt, but you also got to take these little uh things off too. So what you do is you come down here and you just want to take off the circle in the month in which you bought it so it'll be this one right here which is june and it's 2021 so you just take off the one you know what i'm saying and it's just supposed to pop off like that you know what i mean but do that because you can bring this battery in without the receipt and be like, hey, I bought this in such and such. And then they can look at the battery and this is what they look for to see if those were taken off. And then they'll warranty your battery and give you another one. If some, if this battery decide to uh, short out, you know, become a dead battery or something like that where you have to get it replaced. But check this out before it's time. How does that happen? How does a bird take a dump like that like was he just kind of sitting right here or something like that and then just like how like i mean and it, it had a nice little drip going too like it, it got a nice little drip like what you dirty bastard oh, all right anyway let's get back to business all right all put together see that no moving at all that's what we want to see all put together remember y'all keep you some tools man let's put all this stuff up all right y'all so as we put this up we have some news on the load sorry y'all i'm all up in the camera <laughs> But we're going to have to hold on to this load until tomorrow because the receiver is not answering the broker. They are, that's another way that the receiver may agree to getting the load brought in um, on a certain day at on a certain time. But they don't always go buy it. So what they do is send a confirmation saying, hey, the load should be there. Or we want the load delivered this day at this time but then they reschedule it in their system for the following day or two days out most of the time is the next day because they can more or less get away with that and keep the carrier and the broker uh holding the load until they want it so that's what's going on right now I'm not going to hold y'all all day with this bad boy. Y'all rolled with me yesterday. It's now another day. Hey, man, God bless you. Thank you for rolling with me. Thank you for liking these videos. I appreciate it. Thank you for sharing them. And I pray y'all learn something for these videos uh, with trucking. Uh, it's not always the sweetest, but it, it do all right. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. You know, 
Uh, we take a few punches, but we come back swinging, you know, some more. And that's all, that's what it's about. You know, don't give up. You know, don't give up on God. Don't give up on yourself. Keep pushing forward to be better. And if God brought you out of something, like for myself, I didn't want to drive a truck for no one else because a lot of companies, they promise you the world and they don't want to give you the world. That's just what it is. Which, and that's like that with other jobs too. It's not just truck driving. So I just prayed to God. I said, God, I'm stepping out on the on the water like Pete, you know, like, you know say like Peter did. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trust you. And uh, I don't know how this road going to be. It's definitely had its rocky points. You know, y'all seen some of that with, you know, the last video, this video. But it's all good, man. I'm still rolling, though. You know what I'm saying? So that means I'm still making money. I just ain't made the money yet. You see what I'm saying? But, you know, in terms of uh, paycheck-wise, go. But it's all good, man. It's going to even itself out, man. Uh, I just want to encourage y'all, man. Just keep going, man. And uh, even though I may suffer a little bit or anybody else have suffered a little bit, in the word of God in Galatians, it says it's better that you suffer a little bit so other people won't have to do that. So in my, in my hustle, in my stride to be the best I can be, and provide for my family and do it in a way on my terms and 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 you know how i would want to to ride out here and stay in trucking because i was just like god if i'm if you want me to stay in trucking i, I want to be owner you know i don't want to i don't want to be a company guy and hey when it's your when it's your equipment you got to take care of it and if something happened you got to take care of that too that's just part of ownership but the rewards are much greater it, it really is um so just to give y'all a little bit of insight when we were in the shop for those two weeks two weeks and a half guess what i did lose money of course i didn't make no money so my wheels weren't rolling that means i wasn't earning okay and so i lost out probably on anywhere from 10 to fourteen thousand dollars gross that's a lot of ends that's a lot of paper but you know what i'm gonna make that money back you know what i'm saying and even if I don't make that money back, I'm still going to be making money because the truck is still rolling. You feel me? Shoot. So, man, that's what's going on with the load right now. It is what it is, man. Nothing we can do about that. But, like I said, I just want to encourage y'all, man. Keep going, man. You never know, man. God take you some amazing places that you ain't never think you'd be. You know, I grew up in Los Angeles, man, and uh, I ain't think I lived past 18. <laughs> My bad, <laughs> truck going by. I ain't think I lived past 18, y'all, let alone 21, because there's so much gang violence and so much stuff going on out there, man. But God took me away from that, man, and I'm much grateful, man. I thank God for it. So, and here I am right now. I got my own business, you know what I'm saying? and. Yeah, we take a few punches to the gut, but we swinging right back at the head. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, y'all, until next time, you know what's up, man. Y'all know I can't leave y'all without showing y'all that it will crank up. Yes, sir. And these right here is just, let me clear that. Let me clear that. It's just this right here. These two gauges. Got to build that air pressure back up. That's all that is. Well, we did it. Woo. Thank you, Lord, for Peterbilt having what I needed. I'll put these windows down because, shoot, it's hot. 97 degrees, y'all. Anyway, I'm out. Peace. Good morning, people. Hey, we did make it. 
Sorry it's loud. Everybody got the engine on but me in 80 degree weather. But I'm gonna show y'all we did make it to the receiver and we are about to get unloaded. That started on the jet, but we did make it, y'all. All right, well, deuces.